I put down some words, pantsed a couple scenes, screaming, please come help me, cause my lack of an outline is a little too much for me. I'm writing a novel, which has never been done before. Hey guys, Jeffrey here with some week two updates for National Novel Writing Month. Um, I apologize that I'm not really churning these out in a timely fashion. My computer setup is getting more and more um, disheartening and janky by the day, so it's becoming incredibly difficult to edit these videos because I have to wait for my dinosaur of a laptop to cooperate with me. And hopefully by Christmas I'm going to have a different setup and I'll be putting out content, not just related to writing, but, you know, just more content in general with more regularity. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm going to try to make this brief because I don't want to do a ton of editing. So there might be some slip ups, some stuttering that uh, is left in, unfortunately, for all of us. Um, basically, uh, my novel is now at just north of 80,000 words, I believe. And it's finally reaching a point where it just, it's too much. <laughs> it's too much for me. Like, my my disorganized mind is really struggling to keep everything coherent and reconciled with itself. And I'm also starting to lose faith in the quality of the story a little bit. Um, I've had one person read the read the whole thing in its entirety and I got really good feedback and they seem to really enjoy it but at the same time it was sort of a very special person with whom with whom I, I have a lot in common with as far as like ultimate worldview and and just the way that we interpret things so I'm a little bit worried that your average Joe who looks at this is going to see it and think that it makes no sense whatsoever and um, that probably indicates that it, it would be important for me to just get it out of my own head as quickly as possible and put it out into the world so that I can receive constructive feedback and that's scary because it is such a precious thing to me and I feel that I'm trying to work through some some sort of metaphysical questions in a way that is appealing to more or less everybody. I know that there are certain people who you're never going to reach, but I would like to to hit as wide a target as possible while also still being challenging and stimulating. Um, so that's tough. And what else? Well, that's the main thing. I mean, I'm still writing, I'm still plugging along, and it's going okay, but the plot just keeps multiplying and it's kind of set up so that it's a series of different vignettes that are all interconnected and I keep thinking about how like a new vignette could shine some light on this particular aspect of of the problem of the plot and I keep having ideas for integrating graphics and weird visual tricks into the actual like visual element of the page itself and that's cool and all but it makes things like a degree more difficult than they would have been if I were just writing a very straightforward story but unfortunately I like things that are challenging and so I'm stuck with the story that I have it's becoming very apparent to me and was actually probably apparent all along but I chose not to look at it um, very apparent to me that this is not going to be done by the end of November, but I feel fairly optimistic that I can be finished by the end of the year, and I'll probably do some sort of update once that happens. Um, no promises here, but I might actually give you one more update for a total of three updates out of the four promised updates um, for November, so we'll see. I, yeah, I'm feeling optimistic about my ability to churn out words, and I'm happy that I kind of strong-armed myself into this position where 
I have to. But I'm not as optimistic about uh, the quality of the work. That's not even quite right. I'm not as optimistic about how well it will be received by other people. <laughs> so we'll see. Um, that's all I have for now. Thanks for tuning in, and I will talk to you next time.